Okay, so on this particular segment of the video, we are going to look at Makamu literally using what I call the interrogation room giveaway card. <laughs> That's what I can call it on the interview which you did yesterday with uh, Moja Loves uh, Ama Bishop. And so on this particular one, I'm also going to focus in on a particular point. Uh, on the second video, I focused in on the subject of what he said, which can be used against him at court, or this thing, which a lot of in, 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 in people that do investigations and stuff like that, they can vouch to say, you know what, when a person does this, it's a dead giveaway. <laughs> and so I'm going to show you this one right now. It's actually the show we do daily Christian commentary videos. Other videos that are done today down in the pinned comments and that, but I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'm having issues with the audio. But we can focus in on one point at a time. So this is going to be a three-part series. The microphone decided to be stupid today. It recorded and it bring out very bad audio. And so I'm recording here with this, but I'm not going to be able to show you what's, what's playing on the on the DSTV app because you understand the relationship with this uh, uh, lady so i'm asking uh, did you have sex with her uh, were you asking for sex and did you have a flirtatious relationship with the girl two questions uh, i would say no to both of them no to for both. a reason if that was the intention uh, yeah you know, it was I mean, on sunday i got the key I didn't get sex. So if you are taking me on Sunday, then maybe would maybe she should, should have not given me the key and given me sex. So this he says this at the nine minute mark. And so you can go watch it yourself. So what he's just done there, it's appealing to extremes. It's where a person says, here is a smaller thing. You are saying I did this big thing. And you can see this. I remember one particular case where they were investigating a man who had killed his wife. And he had had an argument with his wife in the morning before he went to work. And so he's like, oh, wait, wait a minute. Are you saying because I had an argument with my wife, then I, I, I killed her? Which later on, he then went on to confess that he actually did. Uh, but they use this thing here. It's called appealing to extremes. And so that's what he is implying to say, I just wanted the key. <laughs> and so you're thinking, if I wanted the other thing, I would, have, I would have gotten the other thing. But I didn't get the other thing. I got the key. And so he does this here. I'm going to illustrate it again here with the, when it goes further. And the point is that, Uguti, why would you ask for a, a key that you would receive on Sunday? And why would you ask, is, is she alone? And why would that worry you? Because you are the father of your church and you could be going to anyone's house to get that key if that was a, a, an urgent thing to get. Now, let's entertain Makamu and say the, the issue was about the key. Let's just entertain him. Let's hear what his explanation is. So why would you find out why is she alone and whether people will see you? Like I said before, Really, people will say, "Hey, Bishop." Okay, Like I said before, he addresses this thing as if you know. I'm getting tired of this thing of you guys actually going to and fro about the same thing. <laughs> I've addressed this before, even though he hasn't addressed this point uh, uh, before. Yes, okay. it was around 6 o'clock. So I wouldn't go when 6 o'clock alone to, 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 to get the key. But I'm not comfortable to come. You know, it's just that when we're speaking in a conversation, that those are the points that we I took for granted. Because Excuse me. He, he's doing it again. He's appealing to another extreme. So this is happens within the within two minutes. So you can imagine how much of it does he do in the entire interview. He does it on this one, and basically what he's illustrating is that I'm not here, I'm not comfortable going there alone. Notice the extreme that he goes to. Okay. Alone to, 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 to get the key. But I'm not comfortable to come. That's another extreme. Why can't you go? Now, I understand a person would say, yeah, but Ricky, he's married. No. You see, if you follow the pattern of which Makama is doing here, which is appealing to extremes, if I'm bringing a key 
Why do I need to get inside? I don't need to get inside. You can drop the key. You, you can come park outside. I go outside, I give you the key. Why does he have to dramatize it? Why does he have to draw the attention to where the mind is not? <laughs> and in a lot of investigation, he does it again. You know, it's just that when we're speaking in a conversation, that those are the points that we I took for granted because I didn't know what he, uh, I was in the studio getting recorded. I was in the studio getting recorded. He's doing it again. <laughs> it's in less than two minutes. He appeals to extreme, goes to another extreme, another extreme, another extreme. If you watch interrogations online, whatnot, there there is many of them. You will you will notice people who do study uh, body language. They always note this thing to say. When a person is doing this particular thing, where they are appealing to extremes, it's a red flag. It's a red flag of guilt. Now, the subject might have been about keys earlier on. To say, yes, I'm coming to, to think. We'll illustrate that when we get to, to the subject of the body language and all that kind of stuff. Why? The body language was just completely off. On this one, I wanted you to note it. And you will see here why it's so important. I had to really separate these videos because not to clog them up into one thing. You will see he's appealing to extremes a lot in order to, to make the subject belittled or to belittle the subject or to speak low of the subject. To say, ah, you guys think of me this low? <laughs> I can see now the phone is also doing its own things. It's saying that the battery is dead. Hi, <laughs> today. Today, these videos don't want to be recorded. First, this one decided to just do its own thing. It recorded funny audio. Now, the phone here is dying. And in particular, one of the body language, I'll need to have everything in check. I'll need to have a camera facing the thing in order for me to display it properly. It's Ricky, and I'll see you later. Subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of commentary. If you haven't seen the other episode about what can actually be used against Makamu, what he said on television, uh, do check the pinned comments. It will be down there. It's Ricky. Salute.